This is fascinating to me. So the thought that PG and Carmelo had a deal to be in Cleveland on draft night, your take. That's scary. Why yeah. is that scary? LeBron, PG, and Melo on the same team? That, that's scary. That's scary. Okay, so let me ask you this. That's, that, that's super scary. You said that's cheating. Is it different than them facing the Warriors? The Warriors are just as loaded. Is that, is that the equivalent? No. Why? You have PG, Braun, and Melo. I would just go as megastars. I would just go K, um, KD and Steph. So that's two against three. Two against three. Okay, so then here's my other take then. I want to know if you think that it was unfair that they called off that deal. Uh, because I think Carmelo really wanted to play with LeBron. It ain't the first. Ain't the first time it's happened. Chris Paul, <laughs> yeah, I, was, I, so I remember that well. It ain't the first, and yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody stopped that deal, because that would have been a little too much, but you never know what happened behind the scenes. So Carmelo playing with PG in Houston with Russ, what does that team look like? How, how favored are they in the West now? I like OKC. I really, I really like that look. You got three guys that can take over the game at any time. You got, you know, with Russ, He's going to make them guys so much better, take so much pressure off Melo. He's not, Melo hasn't played with, a, with guys like this where he can just worry about his game. You know, he, he, he don't have to be dominant. He don't have to shoot all the balls. He got guys he can play off of that's going to make him better. So this team, is, this team is the scariest team in the NBA to me right now. Okay, really? Yes. Even beyond the Cavs, beyond the Warriors. The scariest. The Warriors are the best team. This is the scariest team. Now, here is what I've been hearing. People are concerned about who's going to share the ball. Mm -hmm. Russ has the ball, right? It's his, but what about PG? He needs his touches, as does Carmelo. I think they're good enough to figure it out. You know, the X factor that ever nobody's not talking about is Steve Adams. That's the X factor. Look at the other stars. Look at the other teams that have all these stars. What team has the dominant big man like him? along with those three stars, OKC. That's why I, I, I think this team is real dangerous. All right, so then let's move on to Dwayne Wade uh, playing with his bestie, reunited, and it feels so good. What does he add to that roster? Because they're deep already. So what does Dwayne do for the Cavs? Well, he's a future Hall of Famer, of course, NBA champion, experience that he's going to bring. I think just, you know, when you have guys like that on the same team, when you walk in that gym, the confidence is high. Mm -hmm. You know, the other team is worried. You know, Dwayne Wade is, is still a guy that can average 15 to 20 points. You know, I think he's going to go out there and, and be dominant and, make, and, like I say, take pressure off LeBron and make a lot of plays. He's going to make that team better. I just wonder how guys like J.R. Smith and those other guys going to feel when, you know, when their minutes are not as much. And that's what I'm saying. LeBron's going to make sure that D. Wade gets plays. his touches. Yeah, so what does that mean for everybody else? Does, what does that mean for Derrick Rose? What does that mean for J.R. Smith? What does that mean for Isaiah? What does that mean for all of those other players? You know, I, and, and that's tough, and I, I've been thinking about that, too, because I care about – J.R. Smith. I think he needs to play. I think he's probably the most clutch shooter on that team. And if he's not happy or uh, if his minutes are not where he wants to be, it's not gonna, he's not going to be happy there. Yeah. And uh, they're going to need him coming up playoff time.